Reporting live from the Blue Mountains for a spring snowboarding session. It's live from Aspen Week episode 118. Let's go! Yeah. Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. First of all, recalling this scene from last week's Live from last week episode. We're back in downtown Toronto for a date night. Which unfortunately, you guys will have to wait until next week's episode to check out the highlights from this date night. Well, here's a quick recap music video of a date that the wife and I went on last night going to downtown Toronto to do a little bit of mini putting at this Toronto themed mini golf place called Party Putt. <laughs> Man, what a great time the wife and I had last night at the venue. But now, on to the present time today. Before I head in for my first of my scheduled four night shifts, in the middle of doing seven shifts in the span of nine days, we are here at Lee's Hakka number one to pick up some takeout Hakka food. After having a pre-night shift badminton session with the cousins here in Scarborough's Epic Sport. So after that fun section, which we're planning to do next week once again, I'm going to take a quick pre-night shift nap before I head into work. But before I head downtown, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my buddies that took me on that Neon Riders bike ride back in the summer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Scott. Happy birthday, Robson. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So, after getting a decent post-night shift nap earlier today, I was able to catch some highlights of last night's World Baseball Classic 2023 Final. Which, as you guys can see here, was between the powerhouse US team and the number one ranked Japanese baseball team. Which also had some of these legendary matchups that you can only find in a video game. And 
with that, I'd like to congratulate the Japanese men's national baseball team for winning the 2023 World Baseball Classic. But moving on, earlier I looked online and saw a pretty good offer for Canada men's national soccer team tickets. Where next week at BMO Field, they'll be playing the Honduras national soccer team here in Toronto at BMO Field. So guess who went online and bought two tickets and is ready to cheer on the Canada national side for their match next Tuesday. And along in lines with making purchases today, the wife got back from an outing at York Del Mall and surprised me with a couple of these presents that are needed for the condo's kitchen. A brand new Williams Sonoma white salt mill salt shaker and the matching pair of the black pepper mill pepper shaker. Both of which I'm excited to use the next time I have some time off and will be finally able to make some meals back in the kitchen. But yeah guys, moving on, before I go on for my second of my four night shifts tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings. Starting off with one of my cousins in the Philippines who I remember visiting over 10 years ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you Judy May. Happy birthday Judy May. As well as a birthday shout out to one of my World Youth Day friends back in 2011 who is also a big Blackpink fan. This birthday shout out goes out to you Gerald. Happy birthday Gerald. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after a pretty busy night shift last night, with one of my patients having a heart rate of 155 beats per minute, which is comparable to a heart rate that I have when I'm on a stationary bike in some sessions in the past, I came home to edit my live from last week footage all day for an episode that is set to come out tomorrow, with in between night shifts only being able to get a post night shift nap of about this much. But before I go in for my third of my scheduled four night shifts tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my SMIOA friends who I remember meeting them several years back at an event in the States. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Erica. Happy birthday, Erica. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers who you guys remember me playing tennis with them a couple summers back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nej. Happy birthday, Nej. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Today, in between night shifts, I have a couple of things that I'm pretty excited to tell you guys about. After signing up in late February to be on a wait list to get tickets to one of our favorite K-pop groups twice, the wife had actually surprised me yesterday with this reaction video of me when she revealed to me that she bought a pair of tickets to see the Twice show in Toronto in July. With special shout outs to Dee for helping make this dream happen. Also tonight, after getting a pretty decent post night shift nap in, I'll be going in for my last of my set of four night shifts. And once again, wearing my get shift done shirt. Before I have a couple of days off, I got one more night. So it's time to go in for that last night shift and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. First of all today, I wanted to throw a quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers of who I last saw at a Christmas party last December. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Megan. Happy birthday, Megan. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, for a quick second, yesterday, after printing them out last week at the Toronto Public Library, I finally had filled out my NCAA Men's March Madness Basketball Bracket with this prediction of this year's 2023 Basketball Tournament. Woo! My NCAA 2023 Men's Basketball Bracket has Purdue to win this year. Let's go Boilermakers, let's go! Anyways, after finishing my seventh shift in nine nights this morning, taking more than 10 flights of stairs down to the lobby and my car, and throwing back to previous Live From Last Week videos, and especially last week's episode, guess who we saw on our commute home to the condo? The legendary dude on the scooter with that famous green covering. 
And after being able to have a minimal post-night shift nap, being excited for my next four days off, I checked on Facebook for my next possible Facebook Marketplace buy. So after dropping off the wife downtown for her night shift this evening, and not being challenged enough by the 3x3 Rubik's Cube anymore, I'm currently in the Chinatown slash Riverdale East area to pick up my latest Facebook Marketplace purchase. Green Wagon, ooh, that's where it is. New Rubik's Cube, 4x4, four four. let's go! <laughs> Ooh. Man, look at the difference in size of these babies! Well guys, after passing out early last night out of sheer exhaustion and lack of sleep, for some reason thinking that I slept in, I woke up and got up off the couch after this amount of recorded sleep, looked at my watch and realized that it was only 4 o'clock in the morning. So instead of trying to go back to sleep, I decided to be productive this morning, breaking out the laptop and editing some live from last week footage for this week's episode, then started to make some breakfast for the wife when she got home from her night shift. And guys, just like I mentioned earlier this week, I utilized that new gift that the wife had given us and broke out the Williams-Sonoma pair of salt and pepper shakers, using them to my heart's content. And after feeding the wife this delicious breakfast that was made by yours truly, I went to Sunday morning Roman Catholic Mass at the local St. Maria Goretti Church before going to do my monthly visit to my Lola. Hey Lola, it's JJ. Just wanted to do my monthly visit to you. Come over after church and say hi and let you know that the weather, although beautiful right now, is actually quite windy. That, as a matter of fact, when I got here to your site, I saw that one of the neighboring trees actually got blown down by the wind. Anyways, Lola, hope you're doing well up in heaven, guiding us in our everyday lives, and we'll do another monthly visit to visit you next month. Next, I went to 52 to visit my cousin Faye while wearing this special TikTok life hack PPE since my cousin was feeling a little bit under the weather. Okay, get well soon, Faye. Thank you. As well, I surprised the Duave on his hammock chair after he got back from walking the doggo Baloo. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> hey! 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 We also got a surprise visit from the nephew riding in on his new scooter. Who's that guy? Oh my gosh, he oh. knows who I am! Go to the JJ your scooter. Let's see your scooter. All right. Whoa, you're going so fast. When did you get your scooter, Kyrie? Oh, so cool. So cool. Whoa. <laughs> go, Kyrie, go. Go, Kyrie, go. Whoa. Oh, I got to watch him. <laughs> I'm not being a good uncle. <laughs> and did I mention we got a surprise visit from this pogey guy with his new haircut? Look at that haircut, buddy! No, you pajama boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was also able to bring home in the mini all my snowboarding and skier gear from 52 from that family cabin getaway at Blue Mountain a couple months back that I'm thinking I just might use sometime soon. Hey anyways, on an evening where I was supposed to go to the Raptors game tonight, I decided to treat my parents out to a basketball date on me. Sending them tickets that were priced at outrageous prices on Ticketmaster, and instead myself watching the game from the comfort of my home. But guys, as these videos showed to y'all right here, it definitely looks like my parents had a good time and really enjoyed themselves. But yeah, before I call it a night and get ready for a busy day tomorrow, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former Wysik friends who would always want to compete with me for the CA Bowling Trophy. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bree. Happy birthday, Bree. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So reflecting upon that foreshadowing scene that I mentioned yesterday, 
all my snowboarding and ski gear from 52 that I'm thinking I just might use sometime soon. Guys, just check out what I did earlier today. We're up here in Blue Mountain with Allison to go snowboarding. And directly after going up for a snowboarding session with Allison, where I was able to take a screenshot video of myself on the Blue Mountain webcam website, I was off to go straight to the Toronto Climbing Academy in East York to keep myself busy and get in even more exercise today and go rock climbing with a couple of my other co-workers. But unfortunately guys, you'll have to wait until next week's episode to see the music video for that with me at this time, throwing it back to Blue Mountain for a live from last week first. Doing the birthday greetings for today while going downhill snowboarding at the same time. First up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my titas in the SMIOA organization. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tita Elsie. Happy birthday, Tita Elsie. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my Ryerson slash Wysik friends from back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, RJ. Happy birthday, RJ. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my childhood classmates back at Good Shepherd. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jessica. Happy birthday, Jessica as well as a birthday shout out to one of my elementary school friends back at Mother Teresa. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my high school friends of whom I nicknamed T. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Christina. Happy birthday, Christina. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And on that note, guys, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Tree Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.